guys what's up in this video i'm actually planning to do and actually i'm planning to do a playlist as well of this particular exercise and in this particular video what we're going to be doing is i'm actually going to show you some tricks and tips to actually help you improve your designs or i wouldn't say these are tips these are just standards to actually follow and keep at the back of your head when you're designing screens so I obviously have a bunch of students and I have a lot of people coming in and they're requesting me uh, a review of their portfolio and stuff, stuff along those lines. And even if the UX is good, sometimes the UI just really sucks. And I have tried to consolidate all of those, like some of those UI mistakes and we can definitely keep this playlist going and we can talk about some other UI mistakes as well. But what I've done here is I actually had a design that I created myself. I went in that design and I messed it up so that it looks similar to the portfolios that I'm actually reviewing. I also went to uh, Fiverr. So if you have, have a look at it, like I have Fiverr open in front of me and I'm actually looking at a bunch of portfolio of items or of users. Like for example, if you have a look at this one, I'm not trying to target any one particular person, but usually on Fiverr, you have a lot of like beginner designers as well. And I'm just having a look at like the portfolio that some of these people have and I'm trying to replicate some of the mistakes that they're making in their designs and some of the mistakes that my students are making in their designs and we're going to go step by step and actually see what those mistakes are and how to improve them well the first thing that i've seen in a bunch of fiverr work and some of my student work as well is when they're creating the artboard for the mobile screen sometimes it's just not following any particular standard so it's not using any of the default sizes of the more popular applications or for, for for the more popular uh, device sizes. So whatever you do, ideally just stick to the device sizes that's there on the right. So that's one thing that I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna move everything that I have in there to basically um, my device size that I have here. And then I'm also just gonna round this up really nicely, maybe just 24 pixel to make it look a bit better. Okay, so that's one thing that I'm gonna do but sometimes the footer is like really thin and that doesn't look good either. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm also going to update this footer. So the first thing that you need to do in order to update this obviously is you need to make it consistent with the width. One other mistake that you can obviously see here is that the spacing on the left and the spacing on the right of this footer and the icons is not consistent. So that's definitely a mistake. And another thing that I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna increase the size of this footer to something like 72. So once I've done that, now this footer looks a bit more balanced. It looks a bit more neutral. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm also going to update these icons. Now, one problem that you see here is I don't really know which particular tab I'm actually on. Am I on the home tab? Am I on the credit cards tab? Am I on the reports tab? Or am I on the settings tab? This definitely does look like, a, like the home screen. So the home one should be active. So obviously we can just go ahead and dull these up, dim these up, like that's obviously looking good. One other thing, however, that we can do is we can also update these icons at the bottom so that they're a bit more good and they definitely just look a bit more high quality. So I've now gone ahead and actually updated these icons. Now just have a look at the difference that exists just by updating the icons visually. I mean, isn't it insane? Now coming to the other thing. Next thing that I want to talk about is avoid using really weird and really just um, insane fonts so for example something like this i don't even know like what the mogra font is and stuff along those lines use any sans serif font just search for top sans serif fonts and just use them don't even think about it don't try to bring your creativity into the designs once you actually have some basic idea of which fonts to use when you're creating websites and you when you really want like, let's say some cursive font or script font and stuff along those lines by all means go ahead and use it but use it sensibly but don't use serif fonts or script fonts or cursive fonts normally in your designs ideally stick to sans serif fonts so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to update these fonts to the fonts that i actually had in my previous design and you can just see the difference by yourself the other thing is actually even before fixing the spacing and everything let's just go ahead and actually update all of the fonts to sans serif so I just went ahead and updated all of these fonts obviously behind the screens to sans serif. So you can see just the huge difference that exists. Like compare the fonts that we had previously to the fonts that we have right now. Now some other thing, ideally I would definitely not recommend you using borders all the time, especially when you can just use white space 
to actually free up the spacing. So as you can see now, I've removed the border and the spacing seems a bit more consistent as well. Uh, and it just feels a bit more nice. I like the negative space, though we can definitely go ahead and make, make some tweaks there. The other thing I wanna talk about is stop using box shadows or gradients like these. You don't have to do that. You don't really have to do that. So instead of doing something like this, why don't you go ahead and do something like simple as this? It's pretty okay, it's pretty fine. You don't have to go ahead and actually mess with things. So that's one. The other thing I'm gonna talk about, a lot of people actually have a lot of like close spacing on the edges. So for example, right now I have a horizontal padding of 12 pixels, I don't really need it. I think this should be a bit more because as, I, as I've already mentioned, we should emphasize the white space in modern designs. So maybe this should be 24. Now, as you can see, this is definitely looking a lot better. Similarly, color scheme. Since we don't have a lot of colors here, we're, we don't really just want to keep on using blues and stuff along those lines. If you keep on using the same color, uh, sometimes it's really hard to distinguish between the items. So instead of using the blues here or here and stuff along those lines, why don't we just go ahead and actually use different colors for each particular item depending on the item that it is. So imagine instead of doing that, we actually had something like this. Isn't this looking a lot better? Similarly, instead of this plus looking really weird, why don't we just have something like this? And maybe this can actually be even more dim. Maybe just something like this, or we can decide maybe it doesn't need to have a background. It can just be a stroke, a light stroke, maybe something like this. I mean, even this looks good. Actually, I wanna dull this, uh, dim the, score, um, the stroke a bit, maybe just something like this. Now, as you can see, just compare both of these designs and tell me which one looks more modern. Similarly, as you can see, there are some spacing issues here. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and let's just get rid of the footer for a second and update this. Okay, so we have Amazon and let's just like update the time here and update the cost and maybe change that to 32 or something. And there you go. Okay, so that's done. And where is our footer? Let's just go ahead and make that visible as well. So as you can see, we have something like this and this design definitely looks a lot more modern. So we're gonna continue doing this. We're gonna continue having exercises like these to make our designs a bit more modern and making sure they look a lot better and they look polished enough. If you think this video was useful, definitely do give a like, do, do subscribe, do hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.